Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a robot vac that also has a MOP feature. But what makes this really special is that it's Wi Fi based and it also has LiDAR technology. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at the 360 S7 Pro, which is a robot vac with a MOP combo. So, literally, this product will not only vacuum your floor, but it will MOP it at the same time. Now, it's Wi Fi based, it's controlled by an app. It also has the ability to work with Google and Alexa, but what sets this product apart is the LiDAR technology. The LiDAR technology, light detection and ranging, is going to map your home, it's going to see the distance, and it's also going to navigate it unlike any other robot that at least I've experienced before, and I've had some really cool ones on the channel. Uh, it also, as it's mapping your home, you can create no-go zones. These no-go zones are going to be areas where you actually highlight or in the blueprint of your home that it creates, and you tell it that it shouldn't go in those areas. So unlike other products where you have to have a strip or you have to use some pylons to block the robot, this is all app-based. So let's get and check it out. Now this is what you can expect from the 360 S7 Pro. First of all, laser mapping technology that's going to map out your house and it could save up to 10 maps. Now it also has no-go zones that you can literally define by simply using your finger. There's no magnetic tape, there's no pylons that you have to put in place. Simply once your home has been mapped, you can actually highlight areas that you don't want the robot to pass. Now in addition to the no pass zones, you could also set up no mop zones. So if you have the mopping system connected to it and you want to have certain areas of your home designated as do not mop, you could do that as well. So you have two options, either no mop or no go zones. Now in addition to that, this obviously can be scheduled so you can have this run automatically without you having to press a button and it has four levels of suction. So you're going to be able to go from standard floors to, to let's say for example carpet uh, with the same unit and it will handle all that stuff for you. It also has a 120 minute runtime, and obviously when it's running low on power it's going to go back to the base to charge. Now as we take a closer look at the robot, uh, you'll notice that it's, it's a pretty large unit. It does have bumpers right here that help it uh, as it's navigating your home. Uh, you also have the technology that allows it to see is up here in this area. You have a power, you have a charging unit, and it has a base that it really uh, goes back to. And unlike some of the other solutions that I've seen in the market where when you're having it return to the base, where it's trying to do one of these things and find the location, because of how accurate the LiDAR is, it really navigates it like it actually sees it. It's kind of freaky because it just goes right to it and it doesn't have to guess. Now, in addition to having the bumpers here in the very front, on the very bottom, you do have a lot of options. And the, this is where it's similar to some of the other products that we've seen on the market. Uh, you have some supersized wheels, which allows it to navigate, again, various areas in your home. And, and you can see mine is a little dirty because I've actually been testing this out so that I can give you my uh, objective opinion of it. It has also this area here. If you ever get a cord and you had one of these before, you know, sometimes they get tripped up and it sucks up the cord. It has technology built in that prevents it from actually getting tangled with any kind of cords that you have in your home. Uh, it does have, uh, as opposed to some other solutions, uh, which by the way, um, at the bottom where it has the kind of like the release of the dust pan, um, this one has it here. So as we open this up right here, you'll notice that it has the dust pan area here. It has a cleaning tool and all you have to do is remove this when you want to clean it out. Now the app itself is very user friendly and it doesn't require to be on in order for the robot to work. But we're monitoring it and I just wanted to show you how complete this app is and how it works. So here you can see how it's coursed a map of my home. While it hasn't gone down, I have like a multi-level home. So you'll notice that as the LiDAR is basically, or the robot is going through, it's kind of mapping my house out. And it shows, you know, the areas like the walls where there's railings and how it's just uh, blocking things out. Anything that you see in black is going to be a permanent structure. It could be a chair, it could be a table, or it could be a wall. And you can see how neatly it's defining the walls. You have over here the actual uh, green dot that you see there. That's actually the charging station, so it knows exactly where the charging station is. Now, in addition to highlighting the charging station, it actually keeps the run time, uh, the cleaning time, you know, the estimated area that it's working with. Uh, you can press the recharge button, the pause button. You can change various modes to go from quiet mode to standard mode to powerful mode or max mode. It does get a little bit louder when you make those cho choices. And then what you also then have the ability is to create no-go zones. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to define a, a no-go zone. And the no-go zone for me is going to be an area where I have my dogs, um, you know, where they have their their pots and all the things that they typically have, like that they have their food. So I'm going to just reduce the size of this. I'm going to bring it to this corner right here. And this is where they have all of their food. So I don't want it bumping into the food and knocking over the water or bumping over and knocking over the food. So we're going to just leave that in that area. 
Now, the other thing that I can define is a no mop zone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my no mop zone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight an area that I'm gonna say, you know what? I don't want it to mop in this area. So I'm gonna highlight this area right here and just change the size. And right, what I've defined here is a no mop area. So I have a couple zones here. I have my no go zone and my no mop zone. Now the robot is gonna go through that area, but once again, you'll notice how it's going through that boundary right now. It's just not gonna mop in that area if it had the attached tank. So again, you have a mix use case here where you can have both no go and no mop. Now the last area in the app that I just wanted to highlight, and there's a lot to look at this app, is going to be the tools area. We're gonna focus on a couple areas. First of all, you have your scheduler, and in your scheduler, you're gonna be able to set a time, uh, what your cleaning schedule it looks like. So you can set the time, you could say the mode that you'd want, um, if you wanted to repeat it or not, and then the actual position. We're gonna get out of this. Now the other area that you uh, would want to look at is the maintenance area. So we're going to tap on maintenance, and the maintenance area is going to tell you the condition of your brushes, the condition of the main brush, and also um, any of your sensors, right? So again, uh, if you have to do any kind of emptying, any kind of maintenance that you have to do, you'll be able to see that. Uh, the uh, last area that I wanted to also highlight is the update area. Um, in this area, what you can do is look and see if there's any firmware updates that you have. Now, this is connected via Wi-Fi, so what you could do is see if there's any updates available and also apply them. Keep in mind that when you start the robot, it actually speaks, so you also have voice packs that you can do to change, and there's just a whole bunch of functionality here that you can check. There's also history as well, so you can see everything that the robot's done. So guys, that wraps up our review of the 360 S7 Pro Vacuum Mop Combo with LiDAR technology. See you in the next one.